Nizna Galvain, Lain Aren, Stengesliu. Tre, Nasuk, Benchigi. Hi, I'm Shani Mora, and this is my teammate, Rosa Mendoza, from the Zapotec Indigenous Community of the Titlan del Valle, Oaxaca, Mexico. People from all over the world come to my community to buy the most beautiful textiles, made with practices that have been passed down from generation to generation. People are amazed by the vivid colors. Perhaps they don't know, for the most part, we get them from nature. More than 70% of our community is engaged in this activity, where 15 liters are used to dye just one kilo of wool yarn. Do the math. How much water is needed to produce all this? And we're not counting other processes, like washing the wood. In recent years, the use of artificial dyes, such as aniline and acetic and sulfuric acid, increased. So should our community and this ancestral practice enrich the local economy? Of course not. What we need to do is transition to a circular economy and turn this green into these greens. But how do we achieve this? With three simple steps. We inform the community about the impacts of using artificial dyes on the environment. We design a solution suitable for our community's conditions to give a new life to dye water and avoid waste. We create productive chains by using treated water in vegetable production, which will later be sold in local markets. What is the future of our idea? That each family workshop of female artisans as a filtering system connected to their backyards to ensure safe, affordable, and sustainable production of their own food. The legacy of our tradition must continue, but this does not mean contaminating Mother Earth. We are starting a transformation in our community, so that not a single drop is wasted, but continues to be a source of life. Together, we can make a difference.